It's not just the dance, but the face that you make while you're dancing. You are, you are, I, I don't, you're like the guy, the single guy at the airport bar. <laughs> Or at the wedding reception, who just isn't drunk enough yet to actually get up and dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But he bites his lower lip. Oh. Yeah, it's the biting of the lower lip oh. while you dance. But hey, laugh away, you got a number one bestseller. I Absolutely. Did, did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, obviously, who do you credit the success for, of the book? You? Yes. Is that what you want me to say? Well, you could say, yeah, you could say me. I could say you. All right. I credit you, Greg. <laughs> I credited you. Because you have how many bestsellers? I think I have, well, I have five New York Times bestsellers. Okay. Nine books total, but I wasn't really trying with those other books. Okay. All right. So but, I'll get there. But I don't think I ever got a number one. Hey, I got lucky because uh, Mark Levin came out the next week and crushed me. Yes. So I, it was timing was everything. It is. In fact, you, if, if people don't know this, but the, the book publishers, that's all they do is they try to find slots. Right. And they go, you don't want to come out when this book comes out because you're not even, no one's going to buy your book. They, right. They tried to find the slowest slot of the <laughs> summer to release my book. And they nailed it. So great job, guys. It's true. Great job. What, uh, and, uh, what was your favorite part of writing the book? My favorite part were the mom texts because that was already written. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the least amount of work. <laughs> did, did the publishing Copy company... Paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Yes. That is the best part. And then at yes. the end when it, you see it saying like you went from one to 30 pages. Yeah, and you're I like, went oh. from 200 pages to 250 pages. <laughs> yes. But mom's not getting any royalties. Do you remember? <laughs> I remember I had an interview. Well, I had to. I wanted to interview Bill O'Reilly for Red Eye and I got a copy of his book and that's what we were doing. He wouldn't even come to my set. So I had to go do it in his set. And when I got the book, I opened up in the last like 90 pages out of 180 was an interview with he did with Barack Obama. A transcript. <laughs> it was a transcript. We have a lot of transcripts in how I saved the world. Too. <laughs> it was like I'm like going, wait a minute. I I I seem to remember this from the O'Reilly factor. And I just keep going. But then I did that with my monologues. Yeah, so my daughters who are nine and a half were very impressed. Not that I wrote a book, that it was over 300 pages. Yeah. They were like, the first question they asked, Dad, I said, I wrote a book. They said, how many pages? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, 300. They were like, you wrote 300 pages? But that's but, To them, that's a lot. But to any, any first-time author or any people who doesn't, that's the, that's the obstacle. It's not the first page. It's when you look at the book and you go like, how do I, I don't think it's possible to do that because that's what I thought I always thought like there's no way you can put you can put that thing together it's impossible but what happens is an outline does everything right, right. and also bigger font and double spacing <laughs> that'll take you a long way I got a great idea for your next book what you're inspired so much by Bill O'Reilly killing Gutfeld <laughs> <laughs> That book writes itself. <laughs> yes, it does. I'm actually killing myself. It's That's true. what it would be. It would be all my behaviors and daily habits. But I should write a book about you. Yeah, it wouldn't sell. <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be all transcripts. Well, you know what we're, you know what your next book is. It's How I Save the World, Part Two. Part Two. Because because there are you obviously didn't succeed. Catchy. Catchy. You didn't succeed. I didn't succeed. All right, we got to move on. Uh, it's called How I Save the World. You can get it anywhere. You probably already bought it, but buy two. Thank you. You know, uh, Mother's Day and Father's Day are, com are coming up next year. <laughs> I stole several copies. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you need Bubba. Yes. <laughs> oh, Bubba. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.